Hey, welcome back to the fatherly.com live lounge here at Dad 2.0 Summit. Thank you. Thank you, Vanna. <laughs> in 2017 in La Jolla, California. Lovely La Jolla. You guys having lovely, a good time? It's lovely, foggy La Jolla. Lovely, That's foggy right. La Jolla. It's Chris Ratley and Pat Jacobs from the National At Home Dad Network, amongst right. other things. And uh, how are you guys? We're amazing. You've yeah. been here how many years now? My goodness. This, from this the is beginning. my fifth. Wow, this is my second. So, my so I barely, I first. barely missed the first one. Bar so, oh, yeah, right. so, it was close. It was very close. That was yeah. the one in uh, that was Austin. right? That was Austin. And, all right. But uh, we've been here ever since, and the At Home Dad Network has been like our cause partner. Yeah. I think all of those five years in some capacity. So. How's the National At Home Dad Network going? Uh, it's amazing. I mean, we're, you know, as society, we're in this transitional period where, uh, it's, dads are getting. I guess freer to take on the role of a caregiver, mm -hmm. and uh, there's still struggles, but we are able to be providing a kind of an outlet for guys to find community, yeah. and guys are feeling free to look for that. I think uh, it's been really common for guys to feel like they weren't even allowed. You know, asking yeah. for support was a was a problem, and uh, I think words getting out and people are finding it and it's really meaningful. Well, if you wanted to be part of the National At Home Dads Network, how would you get in touch? How would they get in, people get in touch with you guys? I mean, check out our website, athomedad.org. Athomedad.org, uh, or, okay. Or find us on Facebook. Um, and we have a pretty active Facebook group where you can get connected there. You can start finding who's in your area. Um, our website also lists uh, like local dads groups around the country. Wow. That, you know, because often people have no idea. They think they're the only dad doing that in their well, community. I, mean, yeah. I think I was, I was uh, my child was a toddler uh, back before this was available, back yeah. before this is like early 2000s before there was such a network involved and now it seems like there's so many resources for dads to realize that they are not at all yeah. alone right. in raising a child yeah. and being the primary caregiver of a child. I, if I can tell a quick story, please. just last night, and this is the magic of, a group, of a, a, an event like this. I was sitting in a bar and a guy in the hotel who's not here for Dad 2.0. Is this an appropriate story? It's a very <laughs> appropriate story. Make sure. So, this is okay, I've screened it. Okay, so yeah, so thank you. I was wearing a t-shirt that says Dads Don't Babysit, it's called Parenting, mm -hmm. that, we, that we make. And he saw it and came over and read it and gave me a high five and he said, uh, I was, I've been a stay-at-home dad for 15 years and uh, we had this really great discussion and he really, it was really emotional for him and I discovered he'd never met another stay-at-home dad in his You're life. Kidding. And he's from here. He's from this. He area. lives in Boston, oh, okay. of all towns. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you know, I live in this affluent community where I am a pariah, and he's never really felt that he could reach out and look. And they, you know, we told him there is a active Boston's dad group. Yeah. And we do a national convention for stay-at-home dads, and I we talked about finding the value in what you do, what you contribute to your home, mm -hmm. and it was just this amazing moment of saying like. Uh, like we are in a, an, an age now where you can embrace this mm -hmm. and find people who are going to help you help you value it. Sure. And like I feel extremely lucky that that's I'm parenting my kids in that day yeah. and thankful for guys like him who didn't have that. You know, they're veterans, they're trailblazing veterans, right? Exactly. You know. well, that's where we were when we started uh, when uh, Matt Servito and I started Lords of the Playground, that little video series we had and had, still have actually. Um, that was a while ago now, we were both in this situation, we were raising kids and we would uh, live in New York and we'd take our kids to the playground and we would be the only male yeah, right. there in our playground. And then we would, um, oh, I think my battery must not be working here. Fixing, there's some uncomfortable just things going on from here <laughs> down, I just want to say right now. Um, Pay no attention. Why don't you guys tell me about, uh, you have something coming up, a uh, convention. Yeah, we have our 22nd annual at home dad convention. We call it Home Dad Con. Do you want to talk about Home Dad Con so you get to yeah. people get to hear your dulcet you tones? Go. Well, uh, yeah, every year we we have uh, Home Dad Con, and um, you know we've got at home dads from all over the the country. And um, last year we actually had one from England come. Yeah, uh, so we're England. hoping to go even more wow. international yeah. after this. Fantastic. Um, this year it's going to be in Portland, in right in Chris Routley's uh, my backyard. 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 Yep. And uh, yeah, we're really excited about it. It's going to be September um, 14th. Yeah. How many years uh, have you been doing DadCon? This uh, uh, what do you call it? Dad Home, Dad Home Dad DadCon. Home DadCon. Dad 20, 22. We yeah. we think if we've got the math right, that <laughs> ever since they started calling it the annual, we're at the 22nd right. annual wow. this year. It's been going on long before you guys were dads. Yeah. So, yeah. Unless it, I don't know something about it. It started yeah. in it started in Chicago and was in Chicago for about 10 years before. 
um, the network started to kind of grow across the country and they decided we're going to start moving this convention around. Um, uh, typically it's been two years in each place and this year we're into Portland and uh, next year we're still, where, I guess we're working on where it's going to be next so we can announce that soon. And we, we'd like to move it around the country so guys from around the country have a chance to, to come out. Because we do have guys that come to this that uh, have never met another stay-at-home dad in their life. Right. Okay, so where can people find out more? Of the, you've got your uh, at-home, you got your... Give me the website again. For so the, athomedad.org is at-home-dad.org. our organization's Dad.org. website. Okay. Um, and you can find you can find information about the convention there. But we also have homedadcon.org. Homedadcon.org. Yeah, specifically is our convention website. All right. um, early bird registration is going to open in March, Fantastic. which is the earliest we've ever been able to do it. Right. Um, it's going to be an amazing time. So if you you're know. a stay-at-home dad and uh, think you're all alone, this convention yeah. <laughs> proves you're not. And then you can go to the uh, Home and Dad I can't say the whole thing straight. Home Dad Con. Con. Home Dad Con right. in Portland yeah. in September. Which also means you get food trucks, right? right. So it's also Portland. Yeah. Oh, it's you know? Portland. You get food trucks, you get donuts. That's right. right? Really Coffee, beer. beer. Coffee, beer. You know, craft beer. Yes, pine trees. Right. And fog like this. You know, yeah. Yeah. some rain. Maybe somebody on a unicycle with a with a flaming bagpipe. You That's know, you never know. Every day in Portland. You know. We call that dad. That's right. Um, yeah. it's Keep dad's weird. Right? Keep dad's That's weird. It's <laughs> great to see you guys. Yeah, Please great, sign the sign before you, you go. Yeah. See you guys Thank soon. Thank you very much. And we'll be back with more dad too uh, momentarily.